Now, if the assurance by the finance minister, Kenu Furiata, is anything to go by, 2020 will be a good year for roads in Ghana. In the 2020 budget, the minister said that 2020 is going to see some major development in terms of roads. But for now, people are still complaining and users of the Kwabenya Brekusu Road in the greater Accra region are no exception. Now, according to them, they are unhappy about the deplorable nature of the road. Well, they say that although contractors are on the road working, they are unhappy about the slow pace of work, especially the dust which pose a health threat to them. Now, already health personnel in the area have confirmed increase in dust-related diseases due to the nature of the road. My colleague Kojo Ajman has been speaking to these road users. Contractors are on the road, but motorists and commuters are not happy. This road, if you want to count roads in Ghana, I would say this is the worst road you have. Because some of us driving this small cars on this road, sometimes you get home very, very tired. It's like uh, someone has beaten you because of the road. And you know, when you pick someone and you're supposed to drop the person at home, and you get here and you say you can't, maybe you can't continue, then the person feels very bad. Down memory lane, residents of Domi Kwabenya in Accra have protested against the Member of Parliament for the area, Sarah Ajoasafo, over the deplorable road network in the constituency. The residents say although it is not the direct responsibility of the MP to construct a road, the agitations were to compel her to use her influence in government to get the roads fixed. After countless protests, Sarah Ajoasafo in September 2019 cut sword for the commencement of phase two of the rules to repair the deplorable ones in the constituency. Two months down the line, residents and motorists are complaining about the effect of the slow pace of work on their lives. They started the construction and everything is very slow. It's not going how we expected it to. I mean, go when you are counting the cost in terms of the number of times you have visited the mechanic shop, can you put some figure to it? Mm, for this, I was having a Corolla that I was using to work. And that Corolla on this route, my, all my shocks, I mean, I don't even know the amount I can mention. Like I can say maybe I spent close to more than uh, 5000 for for that car and now I have to even pack it. I can't use it. Motorists are not only complaining about the slow pace of work, but are also unhappy about the faces of the project. It makes it very inconvenient for because driving to a certain point and you realize that the other part has been neglected, like from Kwabinya towards Brekusu, it's left unattended to. And I think that is wrong because there are people who also live there. They also deserve good roads. The new construction which is a 9.7-kilometer road, will begin from Dome Adeshiman Junction to ABC Road and Dome Pilatu Link. It also stretches to Abom Junction on the Kwabenya Brekusu Road. The road project, which is being constructed by MSADT Construction Company Limited, costs the taxpayer 16.2 million Ghana cities and is funded by the government of Ghana. Inhabitants of the Ghana East Municipality, where the project is ongoing, are elated. but most of them, according to healthcare personnel, have reported numerous cases of dust-related diseases. One of the inconveniences of road construction is the dust that emanates from the road, but contractors say they have been kind enough. At least, this will reduce the dust. A drive on this road, especially the Abuom Brikusu stretch, is terrible. There are numerous potholes and the dust is overwhelming. Commuting on this stretch is a worry for residents and motorists. For the past 10 years, I normally use it to break usu. And it's so bad that it takes hours to drive on this road. Especially rush hours, it's so difficult to drive on the road. As if we don't pay tax. But we are all citizens. We all deserve to have good roads. And I think that the government must try as much as possible to fix this road. It's an access road to even Kitase. Which I believe that when it's fixed, we all have a smooth ride on this road. So governments must work hard and make sure the road is fixed. Our lenses captured contractors on site at the Musuku Junction. 
whilst portions of roads here are in a very terrible condition some of the roads are being patched some are also receiving a facelift i have here with me uh, jerome who is a site engineer jerome this is musuku runabout yes right. how many kilometers of road have you um constructed so far the average of the diesel pavement is interlock mm. the average of the square meter is uh one one point five kilometer mm. one point five kilometers one point five kilometers yeah, yeah, runabout but we have a uh, another one also around the link road around the link road which is around uh, 800, 800 meter square meter also. All right, Jerome. So when are you going to complete this whole project and hand over to the assembly? Uh, actually, in, uh, I can't tell, baby, very, very soon. This is a relief for the business owners along the Musuku Junction stretch. It was bad and it made market slow. The market was too dull here. So I think it's good that they did it. We are all hoping that the market will move fast so that it's good. Yeah, we pray that the market will move fast so that we can get everything, anything that we want. And we thank the government for doing this to us. Oh, I'm weird. I come. I'm blocking. You know, now I say car in trouble. Tina, I did turn it slow. By a shake, I said, So, mu be to my car in a tremor. I did obey ye, and I feel potholes new in so no, a big jay. This road, the Abomu Junction Dome Kwabanya Road, is one of the major routes to the eastern regional capital Kufredia. Residents here say, though contractors are on the road, it seems the project has stalled. They want the contractor to be fast with the completion of this road. My name is Kojo Ataman reporting for City News.